Warning, the following LP is rated TV MA LS V for language, sexual situations, and violence. But to be quite honest, if you're easily offended by anything, especially game raging and me cursing and cussing and carry on to a point, then viewer discretion is advised. At least according to my lawyer speaking to me right now. Is 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 that good enough for what I have to say? Good? Okay, okay. So this is rated TVMA. Viewer discretion is advised. Enjoy. What's going on, ESGN Nation, and welcome back to another episode here of the WWE 2K22 My GM Mode here on the channel. And uh, yeah, it's been a while uh, since we've had a video, I, and I apologize again because uh, currently, right now, uh, as this video is being uh, uploaded right now, and you guys are watching this, I'm in Sin City, uh, and that's where this episode of uh, the of the super of the uh, GM mode is at uh, here at least in game wise. Uh, I'm in uh, on vacation right now, and I'm uh, part of my vacation. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm going to the uh, AEW Double or Nothing pay per view uh, later this uh, on uh, Sunday night. So uh, you know, uh, cannot wait. It's gonna be fun. I'm uh, going with uh, two of my buddies. Uh, well, actually, one of my buddies and his brother, and uh, we're, I cannot wait. It's gonna be a fun. Uh, pay per view. This will be the first double or nothing I've ever been to. I've been to AEW shows before. I went to uh, one in Chicago. Uh, it was a dynamite show. Uh, but this will be the first pay per view I'm going to of theirs. And uh, we're going all out. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're staying in a really uh, nice hotel there on the strip. And uh, actually, I'm going to the AEW show uh, that, well, obviously, this is on Friday. Uh, but on Wednesday, uh, this past Wednesday, I went to this show. Uh, and, uh, and it was a great show, uh, great go home show. But let's take a look here. We open up uh, today's episode with an opener between Buddy Murphy, and uh, of course, uh, there you see here he picks up a win. It was a dull uh, match, uh, and then of course Finn Balor and Jinder Mahal going at it here. And as their promo here, we'll see how this promo is going to fit out. And this is a pretty good uh, promo there, called by. Jinder Mahal, so their rivalry is going to be extended there. So we'll get into the uh, first actual matchup we'll see here tonight. Here for Monday Night Raw, it's Mia Yim uh, in a matchup here tonight. Of course, she is wanting to go after Bianca Belair. She's been going after Bianca Belair quite a few times now here in uh, Superstar Mode or in uh, GM Mode for that WWE uh, Champion or for the uh, Raw Women's Championship here. And we'll see what she can do. As my phone is uh, currently going off there. Uh, <laughs> kids, uh, remember, turn off your phones when you're trying to record. Uh, <laughs> it's Jim Mahal, or I should say Bianca Belair, uh, in action here tonight. As she, she is our current Raw Women's Champion. And we'll see what she can do here against Mia Yim in this matchup. As uh, Like I said, these two have had some history in this uh, GM mode. And uh, it's pretty pretty good rivalry here, going back and forth. And of course, uh, we're just trying to see how this one's going to end at, of course, WrestleMania, which uh, I do have recorded. Uh, I just don't have uh, it, or it's edited, but it just hasn't been voiced over yet. And that should be up here uh, in no time. And that video, of course, that WrestleMania video will be a pretty lengthy video because we'll show quite a few of the matches here uh, from this one, and that'll wrap up the uh, WWE 2K22 edition of the GM mode. Uh, we are going to bring it back in uh, 23, but we are going to do more. Uh, we're not going to show so many matches here like we have been before. Uh, it will still be the two of us, uh, myself and my buddy, uh, my co-worker, uh, Jacob, uh, doing the GM mode. So far, right now, he's kicking my butt in this GM mode. And of course, uh, the new GM mode in the new game uh, is uh, is by far, by far, it's fun. Uh, we've been playing it as of late and uh, we got a couple of uh, videos uh, ready for that as well uh, so we'll get uh, we'll get back into GM mode uh, and again of course GM mode will be we'll try to get, have it out here I think we're, we're gonna try to have at least an episode uh, ideally two days a week here on the channel of course uh, don't hold me to that because things can definitely change uh, 
with uh, our schedules and stuff like that. But we're going to try to bring it out more often here. And, uh, of course, you can play multiple seasons in that. And we've been playing kind of a, like a, uh, kind of a dummy season uh, right now uh, just for fun. Uh, and we've already started editing, or we've already started filming the actual season we're going to play. We're just going to kind of test it out, see what we can do with it. Uh, and of course, try, try, you know, try the cards and all that kind of stuff. But we'll show more of the setup of how we're, or ideally what our thought are, thought is for the mode and for the rivalries. Uh, occasionally, we might show a match or two, depending on the rivalry and how it's going. We'll show uh, matches like we are showing like right now. Uh, but for the most part, we just want to kind of get through it and see what we can do head-to-head uh, -head with, uh, or at least, you know, uh, you know, trying to earn the trophies and see who's going to be the first one to get be in the Hall of Fame as the uh, GM of the mode. Uh, but yeah, so far what we've been playing, it's been a lot of fun. And this year's, you know, WWE game, um, a lot better than last year's. Uh, especially now they've added the mid-card titles and the uh, tag team titles. Obviously, they have the tag team titles in this one. But of course, in this version uh, that we're playing right now, uh, we don't have the tag team titles. Uh, it wasn't until later on that they updated it. Uh, and, uh, you know, once you play a new GM mode, you could add the tag team titles as a part of it. And of course, I've done that here. And uh, WWE 2K22, but uh, yeah, uh, for the most part, like I said, it's been it was uh, been fun playing this mode, and I really got a lot out of it. Uh, of course, there are a lot of course things I want to you know uh, that I think they should add, um, and uh, even of course they've added some new stuff in the 23 mode uh, GM mode. But of course, at some point here, I would like to see a GM mode and a universe mode kind of blend in together. And uh, kind of, you know, have uh, the both, you know, have a budget for your universe mode. And, uh, ooh! Uh, break your neck there. That's one, two. Oh, and only a two count there for uh, Mia Yim. But uh, it'd be kind of cool if they can add, a, you know, a, the GM mode and, and the, uh, obviously the... Uh, this uh, this uh, GM mode and the break your neck once again there by me and him. She is not playing at all tonight. She's trying to uh, make sure Bianca knows what's going on. And again, Bianca uh, showing that uh, she is not going to go down as she's been representing the Raw brand very well as the Raw Women's Champion. Uh, but yeah, we. Uh, It'd be kind of cool. We we're talk, kind of talking about like having to, you know, you have a budget in the universe mode, and uh, you can only, you know, you're with that budget, you can only do what you can do budget-wise uh, when it comes to um, what you have and what superstars you can bring uh, to help you out and everything, so forth, and so so on and so forth. Uh, and I think that'd be a cool way to, you know, kind of just blend in both modes for, you know, for your fans of both. Uh, both the GM mode and, and the um, um, uh, universe mode. Uh, of course, universe mode a lot more better. As oh, there you see this one. I think it might be it. As Bianca might have this one. No, she. Oh my goodness! Wow, me and him getting herself a nice uh, kick out there. And she is, again, trying to keep herself alive in this particular matchup. And me and him, not going to back down at all. And of course, she, like I said, she wants this uh, moat or this, uh, suit, this, this title off of Bianca. I think she's a better representation of, oh, and a kick out there by me and him. Bianca Belair, oh, Nice reversal there from Mia Yim. But uh, it'd be a nice way of... Uh, oh, break your neck again by Mia Yim. This could be it right here. As, oh, no, she's going to pick up uh, Bianca again. And she's going to do it to her again. Oh, my goodness. Nice move. This could be it. Bianca is going... No. Going a two count there. As Mia Yim now getting frustrated. Uh, but yeah, they've added some new superstars in the game. I've picked up the last two DLCs. Of course, they've been actually adding some new DLCs as, or some free D, free uh, superstars as well. Like Mia Yim is one of them. Uh, they brought her, they uh, redid her 
uh, and, and put her in there. Candace Michelle's another one they put in there for free. Uh, so I got all the, you know, those. And, of course, I've been making my own superstars as well. Uh, and I have, made, I have not made new superstars in, in a game for in this WWE series for since 14. Uh, it's crazy. I was, I was sitting there thinking about that the other night. Um, so there might be some superstars in our GMO that uh, you've never met before that you'll meet for the first time uh, coming up here um, in that series. Uh, both created by myself and, of course, Jacob as well. And, of course, there's some pretty good, interesting local talent on there uh, from this year's game. Some of them will look a little different. Uh, they got some ones that are familiar from this particular series, uh, from this GM mode, uh, that are in the newest game, which is 23. Uh, but to say that they look like the same, they don't. Some of them don't, do not look anything like their uh, original counterparts. As me and I'm going for the pin here, and no, she cannot get the three. And she's asking the referee to count faster. Uh, but yeah, there's some uh, newer ones that are, got some pretty funny names in it, and I cannot wait to uh, showcase some of those. And of course, one of the ones I think uh, I'm kind of disappointed about is, um, oh, I can't remember, I, th I think it was Nick Nicholas Mann. Or no, no, Jive Jones. They, they changed Jive Jones. Uh, Jive Jones, uh, not the same look or same style. That's the one I was thinking of. They changed his look on that game, and I'm like, ah, oh, why'd you guys do that? Like, that's, that's I don't like, uh, I don't like when you guys change that kind of stuff. Because by far, Drive Jones has probably been my favorite um, local wrestler here in this game, uh, in the, in this, especially in this series. And uh, he he does have a new look to him. Uh, we'll see you guys. Are, if obviously if you're already, a lot of you guys probably had the game already, so you've probably seen what his new, his new look is. Uh, Nick Man, they made him look more, even more uh, badass. Uh, with his new player model in that game as well. Uh, one thing I would like for 2K to do is make those players, make those superstars available in the game. It's Bianca going for the pin, and no, only a two count there for Bianca. But yeah, I wish they would make it a more of a, uh, you know, I mean, those 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 local superstars. I wish they would put them in the game so you can actually play as them, like in uh, you know in GMO or uh, not your GMO, but uh, in uh, um, in uh, universe mode, or even in uh, exhibition, because there there are some pretty good, cool looking wrestlers they have in that game. Uh, that that would be, they'd be really cool to play with, uh, just in exhibition mode, or, uh, or you know, or especially in, in uh, universe mode, as uh, you know, local enhanced enhanced talent that you can use in your universe. Uh, so, but yeah, if. Uh, like I said, they got some pretty cool ones. They have, they have quite a few, a lot of new ones on there as well. So, uh, if you have, like I said, you haven't seen the game or you haven't got the game, you'll definitely can check it out here when we uh, start that new series. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already have the game by now. Obviously, the game's been out for, uh, what, three or four months now. So, uh, but yeah, for the most part here, it's it, uh, that mode is, I've, I'm really enjoying this mode, both on this game and, of course, in uh, 2k23 but like I said we'll, we'll have the new one out the new series coming out here uh, pretty soon uh, like I said Wrestlemania it's gonna be I don't know if it's uh, we are kind of cutting some stuff out of Bianca Belair is gonna get pinned nice win there for Mia Yim as she picks up a win and make her make a statement here tonight as she wants to be the next uh, Raw, Raw Women's Champion here in GM mode but uh, Mia Yim picks up a win. Uh, but yeah, this mode I, I'm really having fun with, and especially in this game, I've, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a breath of fresh air for this uh, for this uh, 2K series, and uh, we're hoping that uh, I, I'm hoping they'll, they'll make it even better. I think with this year's game, they've made it a little bit more better. There's some, still some issues that they can still work on in the game for the most part, but. Uh, overall, uh, it's, I, I, it's, I love GM mode. By far, it's probably one of my favorites uh, modes in the game. Now, as we uh, take a look here, uh, we see a nice, uh, excellent uh, promo there from Kevin Owens. Uh, uh, they're calling out uh, 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 Rick Slickman, who uh, had a great match just a week ago, or at least, uh, at least in this video-wise. Uh, in real life, a couple, several weeks ago here on the channel that we've had, that uh, we've seen the last time. 
We've seen him in GM mode. And now we're back in uh, in the main event here tonight as uh, Batista. He is going to be uh, returning here on Raw tonight. And uh, he, of course, uh, wants to be next in line for the WWE Championship. And he thinks that uh, the best way for our current champion right now, Robert Roode, uh, is to face him. And these two have a match now lined up at WrestleMania coming up here as uh, of course that'll be the i believe that'll be the next video you guys will see here on the channel or right, actually no two more videos from now uh we have one more raw and smackdown that'll be in oklahoma city uh coming up in next friday's episode but uh yeah uh yeah batista is uh, ready to go and uh, he wants to get a shot at the at least one more shot at here at the wwe championship and we'll see if the animal can do so here uh, two episodes from now, uh, our final episode of this uh, series here in 2K22, if he can uh, be the WWE Champion. Of course, Robert Roode is, of course, the champion right now in the series. Now, as for champions for the 23, we probably, ideally, we were thinking about, like, we could just continue the storyline or whatever the case may be uh, and, and have the same champions because, for the most part, here, this, the champion, or at least the Superstars are in this year's game, or of course in last. A lot of majority of them are in uh, from this year's game, or are going to be in uh, this uh, this year's game uh, in 23. So we're going to kind of we kind of decide we're going to have the same champions now. Of course, we'll crown new champions uh, when it comes to the mid card titles, like the uh, United States title and the Intercontinental title. Of course, we're also in the game. You can add a, a third and fourth uh, uh, third and fourth show. And we have decided that we're going to have a third show. It's going to be uh, the NXT. It's going to be um, the original NXT. And we're going to have a CPU play that. So those you guys, of course, won't uh, be able to watch those matches. Um, but you will be able to uh, at least uh, see how, kind of see what the uh, CPU is going to try to do to us as we're going to be both trying to take on the CPU as well as taking on each other. Uh, in this mode so like I said that'll be the third uh, brand here on the um, in the in the next uh, GM mode uh, and so we can't wait uh, it's been a lot of fun playing that and uh, having to see what the CPU does and of course we will be playing on hard but for the most part we're gonna show you guys the you know the logistics of the game of what our thought process is or at least I will be giving it, you guys letting you guys know what the thought process is for myself and of course for Jacob who can't really, uh, uh, you know, he does not like doing uh, videos. He, he, he does not, he's, he told me, he's like, I am not doing voiceovers with you at all. He's, he doesn't like his, what his voice sounds like in, on, here on video. So I told him it's not, you know, all it, all it is just casually just talking. Uh, in this case, you'll be talking to me and we'll be talking to each other about the series and, and what we're trying to do and whatnot. But, he swears up and down that he doesn't he, he doesn't feel comfortable doing that. So I, I guess I'm gonna be a, a one man show by myself uh, for this for the next uh, series, which is fine. I've uh, been having a lot of fun with this, and you guys have been having a lot of fun watching this. As uh, Robert Roode coming up here, and oh, he's picking up the big man here, tossing him down. Nice move. That's of course Bobby Roode. Uh, of course, going out. He's been going after the. W title now here shortly. He's been holding on to the title now. And of course, he's screwed over. Uh, or I wouldn't say necessarily screwed over. I think he's pretty much, yeah, he's he's gotten the WWE title sneakily, uh, I should say. Let's just put it that way. Uh, as of late. And, of course, Shane is the most recent champion. Uh, of course, had the title. And, he, of course, he, of course, you know, uh, depending on... What your train of thought is for Sheamus and how he took the title off of Finn Balor. Of course, got a little help there from Tim Burr, which we have not seen uh, quite a bit. He actually is in, in the game this year, too, and they made his uh, character look badass even as well uh, in, in the uh, new GM mode there. So we could see Tim, the new Tim Burr uh, coming up in the uh, in the upcoming, ser uh, upcoming uh, 2K series. Which is, uh, you know, like I said, we'll try to get that one up as quickly as we can. Uh, working on several different series here on the channel. Uh, obviously, 
new baseball game has been out for a while now. I've been playing some of that. Uh, and also, of course, I want to work on some LPs, uh, some Let's Plays uh, that are not necessarily sports related, just some fun games. And I have a I have a huge stack over here. <laughs> I think I say this in almost every anytime I will play these, uh, do this video or do some other videos. I'm always talking about the huge stack of games I have, and I have like stacks. Of them. I got, as a matter of fact, I put them in. Um, I had to get some boxes from work to start putting this stuff in boxes now because I got so many games here now that I've been buying for both for the PS4 and the now, of course, my PS5 that I have. Of course, 2K23 is on PS5. I have that for the PS5 now and for a while now, so we'll be playing on that. As I'm, Oh, Batista going for a pinfall here, and then, no, oh, Bobby Roode's going to kick out. And it's only going to be a two count there for Batista. As Batista begging the referee to count faster. Uh, but yeah, I got a lot of games that I want to get into, so uh, we'll play some more Let's Plays and uh, other sort of uh, games here in this uh, on this channel because uh, I got a lot of fun games. You know, you know uh, I got a, the, the Mafia series now. Um, what else do I got? I got a new Saints Row game. Um, I haven't played. I have not played a Saints Row game, guys, since the original one came out. Now they've what had what uh, I think this is the fifth or sixth Saints Row game they've made because uh, I know there's two spin-off games that they made for uh, from that series from that uh, franchise. Um, so yeah, I mean there's I mean there's a whole bunch of games I got uh, Hitman I want to play um, and I wouldn't mind getting back into some older WWE games as well because I. Got, uh, quite a few of those. I have uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I didn't get 20. But, uh, yeah, I got a lot of those games there that I wouldn't mind playing. Uh, going back and replaying them. Bobby Roode gives the glorious DDT. As Bobby Roode being dominant here. No, he cannot finish the job there as Batista. Pops his shoulder up, and that's going to be only two count there for the glorious one. Of course, these two will be going head to head at the WrestleMania coming up here in two episodes from now. And of course, for the WWE Championship, not really know what type of match they're going to be into, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, I'm sure it's going to be something huge, it's going to be something big that. Uh, those both of these men want to be a part of. Of course, I didn't know Bobby Reed wanted to, you know, I guess logistically in this matchup here, I want to, I want them in a match uh, here, at least for the Raw brand, to be something that's going to be big, it's going to be huge, it's going to be spectacular. Um, and, you know, kind of a match uh, I was thinking of was maybe, uh, possibly, maybe some kind of uh, Hell in a Cell, Last Man Standing, um, you know, um, something, something that'll keep them in the ring, and something that just, you know, it's gonna be a just. Uh, these two are just go all, go all out and just uh, try to win, winner takes all type of match uh, for that uh, WWE title. So, and of course that I don't know which we have, I haven't decided yet because right now we're editing. Um, so I don't know. Um, we've got half of the pay per view done. Uh, we're editing first over. But we don't have the, uh, we, we can't, haven't decided what the main event's going to be. We don't know if it's going to be a SmackDown, uh, it'll be the Universal Championship, or it's going to be the WWE Championship. Um, so, I'm trying to still try to figure that out uh, here uh, for for this uh, particular series. It's, oh, Batista going for a submission hold here. Of course, Batista not really known for his submission skills, but he is putting a nice one here on Bobby Roode as Roode screaming as he's trying to get himself out of that hold. Now Batista now going to try to bring him back closer to the middle of the ring. And so, oh, I thought maybe Batista was trying to go for a Batista bomb, but a nice net breaker from Robert Roode. And now Roode going for that part of that glorious DDT again. No, Batista says no, not gonna happen this time around. And a belly to belly there by Batista. But uh, yeah, we're I'm you know like I said, uh, we're still trying trying to decide booking wise um, what we're gonna do here. 
uh, when it comes to when it comes to the that uh, title. Batista here is showing off here. He believes there's Batista, a superstar on the side of a uh, uh, legend that we signed, and he's going to pick up a win here. And I thought this would be a really good matchup here to sign a, a veteran here to kind of show the Robert Roode, maybe have Robert Roode prove himself as the, if he can handle being the WWE champion. So he hired Batista to take that role. And so far, Batista picking up a nice win here from the Las Vegas crowd as the animal is back and he is ready to take back a crown that he uh, had once in his career here in the WWE and trying to get back into the uh, mix there so now we go to the blue brand and we're going to check out and take a look here at the list of the matches here of course uh, we got Nia Jax taking on Asuka uh, Shayna Baszler uh, of course uh, in this situation uh, Jacob has uh, looks like Shayna Baszler running in here on Asuka of course Asuka and Baszler are going to go at it for the Smackdown Women's Championship at Wrestlemania for the blue brand and of course, Shayna Baszler trying to get the upper hand here on Oscar. We'll see if that running is going to work in favor of him for them. And of course, and to heighten their rivalry up here in the uh, here on the uh, here on SmackDown. So as we take a look here, and uh, we'll see how this is going to shape out here. It's going to be a simulated match between Nia Jax and Oscar. Uh, we'll see that here in just a bit. Of course, we got some uh, other matches here. We got a nice tag team match between. Uh, with Odyssey Jones and Bo uh, with uh, Rick Boogs taking on Drew Gulak and um, uh, Scorpio Sky, who have been working out very well as a tag team here on the Blue Brand. And then, of course, the main event, uh, Santos Escobar taking on Rey Mysterio. Nice little matchup there. It's going to be a very good uh, main event. Hopefully, that will be something we can watch here in this episode. And, of course, then, of course uh, some uh, we got uh, Jacob has uh, two advertisements here to two promos he has uh, looks like uh, uh, looks like uh, Chad Gable calling out uh, Jive Jones oh that's gonna be that might be a good matchup there and of course Sokoa Solo Sokoa having some trouble with John Morrison John Morrison of course last episode we've seen he picked up a victory over Sokoa and uh, that's uh, what's gonna of course that's been uh, continuing on here on the Blue Brands. You see this one being simmed, like I said, and Oscar picks up the win. So Shayna Baszler could not do anything, but it does raise their level to a level two, and that's a nice win there for Oscar as their rivalry between herself and Shayna Baszler continues to grow. Now we'll take this. Uh, this looks like uh, Chad Gable calling out Jive Jones. As yes, of course Jive Jones has been a huge. Making a huge impact there on the blue brand, and of course, Chad J gave away some oh, okay, Inter, uh, uh, promo. Now, if I remember correctly, I think uh, this was uh, something that uh, I think we jived, or I think Odyssey Jones requested. He requested a match here with a tag team match, if I'm not mistaken, here with uh, with Jive Jones. They, he wanted it to be a tag team match. Um, and have them, you know, him and Boot Rick and Boogs in a match because they worked so well last time around. So we'll see if that'll be the case here today. As Odyssey Jones on the Blue Chippers coming from the SmackDown or from the uh, from the NXT brand being called up. Of course, we see him early on in this series, and uh, he's uh, had not so much, so much of a successful, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? a successful career is you know he's still a rookie and he's still trying to learn things here on on SmackDown, try to get his uh, still you know get his feet wet here on the blue brand. But there you see Rick Boogs, the Boogster, out here. He of course is going to be teaming up with Scorpio Sky here tonight in this or excuse me, to, uh, teaming up with Odyssey Jones here tonight. Of course, Odyssey Jones has had issues. Of course, he you know his first. Uh, River, I guess you could say, against Drew Gulak early on here on the blue brand as uh, Odyssey Jones, um, of course, you know, had some issues with uh, Drew Gulak. Uh, Gulak going on to saying that, uh, you know, Odyssey Jones wasn't ready to be on the blue brand, wasn't ready to 
step up to the plate and, and show what he can do as a SmackDown superstar. And, uh, you know, Ozzy Joe's has a couple, had a few victories over, uh, you know, uh, had a nice uh, surprising victory over Drew Gulak and their rivalry early on. But in the end, Drew Gulak to pick up the big win there at the pay-per-view. Uh, and uh, since then, we've kind of seen Ozzy Jones kind of floating around. Uh, then right after that, he had a, you know, Scorpio Sky try to take advantage of it and uh, try to really try to break down, uh, you know, uh, Scorp or should say uh, Scorpio Sky try to break down Ozzy Jones. Um, and for a while there, Scorpio Sky had his number. Uh, but then uh, Ozzy Jones had a nice victory over him. Uh, but when it came down to it, Ozzy Jones... He just having a he's been having a tough time here on the blue brand ever since coming up from NXT. And of course, Al started with this man right here, Drew Gulak, who uh, has been uh, the, him and Scorpio Sky have, have kind of worked out here uh, in this uh, at least in, in this GM mode here as a tag team. And like I said, we don't have the tag team titles necessary in this version of this uh, GM mode, but. Maybe in 2K23, I can bring back, uh, you know, if I can find a, uh, you know, a decent uh, Scorpio Sky, maybe those two can team up and be a tag team and uh, bring, you know, uh, bring, bring themselves a tag team title. So here we go. Here we go for Scorpio Sky. Of course, uh, like I say, he's been kind of MIA as of late. And, uh, of course, uh, he, Drew Gillick, uh, believe that. You know, uh, they think uh, Otis Jones is not ready to be a superstar. And, of course, they, I don't think they take uh, Brick Boogs as a uh, legitimate superstar here on the on the blue brand. Uh, so I, I guess these two figure that they're going to be the guys to kind of teach these two uh, to either try to leave the business or, you know, or just teach them that they're just pr pretty much saying that they're not, uh, they're not what – they're worthless. Not uh, they only they don't deserve to be here on the blue brand. That's not true. Uh, both those guys are great, talented wrestlers. Maybe on the same little level as Drew Gulak and Scorpio Sky, but they definitely need, uh, deserve to be here. They've been putting in the work, and uh, they've had some pretty good matches. So we'll see uh, how this is all going to come about. So here we are, tag team match, first match of the night here on. Smackdown that we're going to be featuring. I believe we'll have that main event coming up with uh, in the non-title matchup between Santo Escobar, of course, the current uh, Smackdown Universal Champion, taking on Rey Mysterio. And, of course, uh, in that rivalry there uh, with uh, Escobar and Cameron Grimes, going straight to the moon, as he says. Uh... We'll see if Cameron Grimes shows up tonight. Uh, rumor has it uh, he's going to show up tonight and maybe give some trouble with Santos Escobar. Uh, of course, uh, Santos Escobar, current champion. And, uh, of course, Cameron Grimes thinks that Santos Escobar is just devaluing. Uh, the doesn't deserve the Universal Championship and pretty much says that uh, he's just not a good good uh, good man to hold on to that title so Cam Grimes a little lut says he'd love to take it off for him and it's Drew Gulak completely misses there on that uh, jump I don't know where he was who he was trying to go after but Rick Boogs was nowhere near there and Boogs nice uh, throw him on the top rope there catching the has uh, his neck catch the top rope and now he's going to tag in Scorpio Sky as Boogs tags in Odyssey Jones. And Odyssey Jones, like I said, he has a history with these two, both of these two men that are, he's facing up against here tonight. And love to get a nice tag team victory over these two. And uh, put them just behind his rear view mirror and just kind of focus on what he needs to do to be in that, uh, you know, in the realm of possibly getting a title shot of some sort, either for the Intercontinental title all right, I should say at least in this version of uh, GM mode, the WWE uh, Universal Championship. Uh, Score with Sky now tags in Drew Gulak, and Gulak's back in the match here. And now these two are going to go. And Rick Boo's going at it, throws them to the corner there, has them up on the tree of woe. And what is Drew going to do here? Is, oh, he's going to try to choke him out. Oh, come on, Drew. 
through. Again, trying to be the technician that he is in the ring here. Oh, nice stop from Brick Boogs and a nice, nice suplex there from Rick Boogs. Now Boogs tags Odyssey Jones here. He knows I he knows that Odyssey Jones wants uh, Gulak. Uh, if not that not the two men that he really wants to hurt. Uh, Gulak's definitely the guy that Odyssey Jones has a huge problem with. And Gulak tried to break the arm there. And he look he is you now he doesn't want to be bothered there by Odyssey Jones. And now Oh Nice little maneuver there from Scorpio Sky on Sky going up top rope here. Sky going up for a frog splash and a nice move there from him. But I don't know, that might not be enough there. Oh, it's Odyssey Jones now reverses and a dragon screw there. It's Odyssey Jones here now tagging in. Rick Boogs. Rick Boogs coming back in the matchup. Boogs has Sky up here and he's twirling around before he slams him. Nice job there slamming him down. So now Rick Boogs trying to maintain control here in this matchup. And Boogs will go ahead and he will go and tag Odyssey Jones on the tag. And oh, missed there from Ozzy Jones. Now it's just oh, nice, nice, nice inverted Russian D or uh, Russian uh, sweep there. Now Drew, Drew Gulak coming back up with the matchup here. And like I said, there's a lot of cool DLC coming out the rest of the summer, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to add more of the superstars as we go along in this series and. You know, there's a lot of new NXT stars I wouldn't mind using in the GMO because, like I said, we're, I'm going to represent Raw. Uh, Jacob's going to, of course, continue to represent SmackDown. And we're going to have the CPU, the NXT. So that is something that uh, whoa, we're looking forward to. And hopefully in 2K24, which I've learned uh, this actually this morning, I was watching a video about it. They're already in uh, pre-production for it. Uh, I'm hoping uh, one of the suggestions that a lot of people were saying they would like to see in 24 in GM mode is maybe creating your own brand in GM mode. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, still have the, you know, it'll still be the same aspects of, as you know, this is the current GM mode with you know, some, like I said, a few new stuff in it. Uh, you know, always that improve your the modes. Uh, but I think one of the things would be, you know, having a customized, you know, having, you know, how you can customize your, you know, universe mode, like create a, your own show and, uh, you know, you can import your logos like that. Something, you know, s you know, do the same thing like you do already with that in, G in universe mode, but implement that now in GM mode. Uh, so you can create your own, you know, your own, you know, a, you know, have a show that's equivalent to Raw or to SmackDown or to NXT or something like that, but use your own logos and ring and arena and all that kind of stuff. I think it'd be really cool to see. and I think it would be a better immersion as I see another Russian leg sweep outside now. Uh, that would be just better immersion of the game and just uh, get more people to, you know, get people to play even more often. Because um, like I said, in this one, I've been playing it quite a bit. You know, I've, I've played this, uh, this particular GMO uh, I have like two other GMOs uh, that I've been playing. Uh, played one, have one by myself, have one of course obviously with J my buddy Jacob, uh, and then I did one uh, where I had um, it was, a, it was even, I think it was yeah another friend of mine we, we play um, on here as well uh, together. Uh, so yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's just been really fun to play and uh, get. You know, deeper in the mode and just learning more about the mode that uh, you know that you can. Uh, I've learned a lot, especially uh, with the 2K23 mode. I you know I know what to how to use the cards a little bit more better. Uh, matter of fact, they added new cards into the game. It's Rick Boogs, nice uh, uh, military press there, and a kick out there by Scorpio Sky. Uh, but yeah, just learning more about the game and, and just learning what the car, how you can use the cards, when the best time to use the cards. And like I said, we didn't use the cards too much here. Um, yeah, I tried my best to write down what 
you know what cards I was using and uh, you know, kind of explain that in the video because uh, WrestleMania we are, we got several cards and you know, we're gonna be using I'm gonna be using a lot of cards that I have for free um, you know for arenas uh, and then like you know uh, for matches so you'll see that here in the videos uh, coming up here and for the WrestleMania pay-per-view and same thing for SmackDown um, that's why I said I wish Jacob would be on here with me so he can explain his what he's trying to do for SmackDown because uh, I necessarily can't remember always what he's trying to do uh, so that's why I said next season we're with the uh, GMO there we're gonna try to show you guys behind the scenes of what we're, we're going to be doing and of course you know with you know some of the stuff is kind of tedious uh, but some of it is actually kind of important I need to be kind of sh actually show uh, you know when, we're, when Triple H wants us to do certain things I need to kind of show that and, and show you guys where, if we're going to implement those uh, plans or not uh, into it because a lot of times you don't necessarily need to do what that Triple H says uh, especially if it's, a, if it's a power card that you don't really need or really care to have um, you know I need to kind of show that and explain why I didn't uh, necessarily do that but for the most part here, we've, I mean, there's a couple of failures that we had when it came to promises to certain, uh, to super, super, certain superstars. Obviously, the one I most recently just did, and we've seen it here on the video, was the Bianca Belair. She was supposed to get a title match before anybody else, uh, a rematch for a title, and I didn't do that. And that's why that, you know, that next, paper, that next, uh, you know, Raw Smackdown, we had her, uh, you know, she ended up winning the title. It's, oh, Drew Gulak like putting a submission hold here. On Aussie Jones and Aussie Jones, I don't know if he's gonna. I don't think he can get out of it. No, he's gonna tap out. He does, and that's how Drew Gulak got him last time around at the pay per view. As Drew Gulak and Scorpio Sky pick up the victory here tonight. So Scorpio Sky and Drew Gulak pick up the victory here in this tag team matchup. As uh, looks like Odyssey Jones just could not. Get out of that hole there from Drew Gulak. Like I said, Drew Gulak, one of the best technician wrestlers out there, great submission wrestler, probably right now in the, here in pro wrestling. Get back to the uh, board here. We'll see that John Morrison calling out uh, Solo Sokoa. Of course, these two have been going at it back and forth here, and they'll ho hopefully have a great match at WrestleMania coming up here, and we'll see them in action. Uh, possibly next week. Uh, we might have to, we'll see what Jacob does for next week's show. We'll see if they get back in action there in Oklahoma City. And our final match uh, here that we will not see here tonight, uh, we'll see uh, Cameron Grimes. We'll see if that run-in will affect uh, Santos Escobar. Like I said, Cameron Grimes, uh, you know, the face right now in this, in this match, this storyline. He comes in and helps Rey Mysterio pick up a win. So nice job. Now it doesn't show that we improve that uh, rivalry between those two of those two, but nonetheless, uh, Rey Mysterio comes out with a nice win here, uh, the main event there on SmackDown. So nice win here as uh, we wrap up today's episode. Take a look here, and looks like uh, looks like we had the better show. SmackDown only had a half a star for their opener. Hmm. Of course, I think that was when we had a sim. Uh, they, they were, yeah, it was a Nia Jax and um, Asuka match. But uh, there you see, uh, we beat them in the mid card. So maybe our mid card match that we had there should have been our opener. Uh, you know, and we had the opener be our mid card. But as I said, it doesn't always necessarily work. You think you know a certain match was going to work a certain way and doesn't. Um, because you want to make sure your opener and your ma and your main event are the ones that are top, you know, beginning and end of the show. Uh, that get, that's how you get the points, uh, and that's how you know uh, how well you've done for the night. Um, so the main event was only two and a half for us and two for them. Uh, rating score eighty two for the Raw show. As we end up actually, we didn't gain anybody. Okay, we gained a lot of money. But fan-wise, uh, we actually end up losing. <laughs> we actually lose 1,027 people. So, yeah. Uh, I'm getting bad as uh, this, these last couple of episodes here. I'm getting worse than, um, I don't know, you know, the same level as Vince McMahon when it comes to booking shows here. <laughs> got to get out of it quickly here because we still got a, quite a bit of ground now, especially now that we lost that many fans here. 
And I'm sure SmackDown, even though they had a sh you know horrible start, I'm sure they probably gained quite a few fans for themselves. In uh, the video, there you see we got our, our uh, power car that our, it's a health three spa. We don't really need it. Oh, thank you! Look at that, nine thousand nine hundred and fifty-seven fans were lost. Thank you. So we won this week. A score rating, there you see uh, the rating score seventy-four for SmackDown. So yes, nice. Uh, SmackDown still looking. Uh, really, truly, SmackDown really needs the money. Uh, I know Jacob says he he's, he realized that he's burned through a lot of cash. Uh, so, but yeah, he's been trying to do that here as lay. There you see a uh, injury rehab card three for him. Uh, so we both complete the challenge for the week for uh, from Triple H. But when it comes to fans, where well, it's yeah, we're getting closer. So well, they lost quite a bit. They lost nine thousand. I think the next episode, I really got to take advantage of of booking really hard and really serious and maybe even have to use some player cards uh to help us out have some power cards to help us out with the ratings wise uh but you see we got quite a bit of money still uh, we got 2.6 million dollars in the cat in the in the bucket right there we're gonna save up some more money because like i said my idea is from week to like the like when you to go home show we'll do something big but for the most part, pay-per-views, I want to go all out and just just go balls to the walls when it comes to matches, matches and, and, uh, and such. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, so, our, yeah, next episode is our go-home show. It'll be in Oklahoma City. We'll see what we can do on the red brand. As, uh, like I said, we make quite a few money, but we got a good chance now to get to the top spot. And we'll see how we do in that, uh, that go-home show. And, of course, I know... Uh, Jacob's probably thinking of the same thing. Uh, at least I know he's talking about, man, he can't believe he lost that many fans uh, in that one week. So he's kind of getting a little nervous there, which is fine by me. Uh, we'll just, just see if we can uh, try to take advantage of that coming up in the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more here on the channel. Follow, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Links are down below in the description. Also, don't forget to check us out on our main channel over on ESGN.net. As well, check out other great content here on the channel. Uh, like I said, it's been fun playing this series, and I'm trying to wrap it up. Uh, and I'm trying to do some videos while I'm on vacation. So uh, <laughs> bear with us as uh, we got a lot of there's just a lot of crazy just things going on. Just trying to get this, trying to get prepared for this trip and try to corral people, and uh, it, it's uh, it's crazy. <laughs> trying to plan for this trip now for the last two months now or three months now so but i'm here in vegas so i, I can't wait it's been a lot of fun but i uh, hope you guys have a great friday have a great weekend enjoy the pay-per-view if you see us uh good i don't know how you i don't know maybe i'll put a post up on facebook or, or on a uh, twitter if, if the, i'll show you what i look like and see if you can find us in the crowd i doubt it but uh yeah <laughs> we'll see uh but that's it for me you guys uh st uh, stay close to the social media. I'll try to post stuff while I'm on social media. I'll maybe even try to live tweet some stuff on Twitter uh, for the up leading up to the pay per view uh, on uh, Saturday on you know Saturday uh, Saturday night going to Sunday at the pay per view there itself. So uh, just stay tuned there. Like I said, our social media all down below in the description. As always, keep yourselves really healthy, and I will see you all next time. Bye.